yourself the 22 car? Uh, I'm sure I can look back and get some find new things. The obvious one is that he got inside me in the rear range. If I just uh, don't commit to the top on the street, I just thought I could rip the top and stay in front of him one more time. Obviously, you come away with a runner-up finish here. Um, so great points today, but understanding you were that close to locking into the championship four, what are the emotions after a run like this? It's a really, really, really good kind of hurt. It's be running, competing for wins, and I hope I'm racing that guy for wins in the Cup Series for a long time to come. And, uh, I think it's going to be a, a fun, uh, fun career if that's the case. Ross, obviously not the result you wanted today, but kind of just take me through what it's like to be in like such an intense race there at the end. It's, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. It's, I've watched my heroes and icons of the sport do this, and you know, I just want a chance. And, uh, I think, uh, like Mark Martin said it, it's, uh, I don't want, I don't want to give me the trophy, I just want to give me a chance. If we had that, and, uh, a little fresher tires got us there. How do you think we five or ten laps in it? How tough is this, or is it a matter of like because of the tire difference? It's like okay, there's there's only so much that you could do within the position you were in. No, it's it's a, like I said, it's a really, really, really good kind of hurt, but it, it still hurts. I mean, you want to you want to win, but then again, you you ran second in a, in a playoff race, right? And we competed all day long and did almost everything right. What about? How was it? I mean, the, the car seemed to be able to do, allow you to do whatever. I mean, you had some research where you made some big moves and obviously got the lead in, in kind of diving down the, from top to bottom. Was this car as good, I guess, or how were you able to make those moves? Because you made some big moves on restarts today. I know you've done that in the past. But. Yeah, our uh, Chevy was, was good enough to, to do that. Um, there, was, there was definitely, you know, there's things we'd, we'd like to be better, but um, you know, it, it gave me everything I did. What do you take away from this race? A mile and a half going to Homestead, which is another mile and a half. Can't wait to go home. It's going to be a fun trip to Florida. What's the most valuable lesson you've learned today? Just all, all of it, right? Just the cadence of the race and early on going from 11th back into the teens and then fighting back up. And I think, my goodness, we gave handfuls of spots half a dozen at a time. You just don't see that in cup, cup racing these days. And for me to have some mistakes on pit road, I, I'm struggling to, to do a few things, clean, clean up a few things in the box for my side of the pit stops. And other than that, just, just the whole race, I, I'll take so much away from racing. How, how different did this race race compare to in the spring here? Not a lot. Uh, I mean, we, yeah, we fought it out for the win in both of them, so third and second, and had a, thought a, thought a second or third place car in the spring, and today I thought we had a winning car, and uh, quite getting any the time. Now you made a couple of big blocks on, on the 22, which obviously uh, anybody would do. Is there anything else that you feel like you could have done, or, or was it that was that was what you had with, with the tire situation? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think I just uh, low hanging. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.